Good Tuesday morning, Pastor Rob here. Just thinking about Sunday service. I can't get it out of my mind, so it's bothering me. When I talked about uh, 2 Kings 2.12, when Elisha said to Elijah, before he's carried into heaven in the fiery chariot, he says, my father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel, as if he could see them coming to get Elijah. And then they came down, they divided the two men as they were walking, they split them and the chariot picked up Elijah, carried him up to heaven in a whirlwind, a fiery chariot carried him into heaven. And then you see the same thing in 2 Kings 13, 14, when the king comes to Elisha, as Elisha is sick with the disease it says that he was going to die with. And he says the same thing, my father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel. So it's almost as if he could see them coming to take Elijah away, Elisha away. And I was just thinking about that, and I'm sure that Elisha was ushered into heaven similar to the way that Elijah was. And I think Elijah's being carried up into heaven with a fiery chariot and a whirlwind is, is a picture of how we will also go into heaven. And, I, and so my thought is, why are we so afraid to talk about that? Why are we so afraid, afraid to talk about the power of God as if it's foolishness or if it's embarrassing or if somebody's going to make fun of us? This is what happened. This is a factual event of what happened in the Bible. Elijah was carried to heaven in a fiery chariot in a whirlwind. And Elisha witnessed it. And the similar thing happened to Elisha. And so I believe that this angelic conflict, this thing that was around them, people could see before it happened, at least for that moment. And of course, Jesus said a similar thing before he's arrested and before he's preparing to go to the cross in Matthew 26, 53. He says to Peter, don't you think I, if I called to my father and asked, he would, he would send 12 legions of angels to rescue me? And maybe just for a moment that Peter got to see those angels waiting, and I believe they were right there with their hands on their sword, ready to draw them to come and rescue the Son of God, should he ask for it. But Christ didn't do that. But they were there ready to rescue him. And usher him back into heaven should that be necessary. But he didn't do it. He was obedient to his father, Matthew 26, 53. And so I just think that's interesting. So why are we so afraid to think that in the moment we die, that the chariots of heaven don't come down and get us and usher us into heaven? Because I believe that's exactly what happens. And I believe that picture of Elijah and Elisha is a picture of what is going to happen to us. Because I think that there is, and I believe there is a battle for our soul. I think we all know that specifically when we die, that the armies of demons try to rush in and steal your soul, and God sends his army in, and of course he wins every time, especially if we are in Christ. He sends an army of angels, the horsemen of Israel, and a fiery chariot to pick up one of his, every one of his children to rescue them and usher them into the kingdom of heaven. Why is that so far-fetched? Isaiah 55, 11 says that, my word will accomplish what I want it to accomplish. What I do, it will happen. So far, my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. And so just thinking about that, when God spoke the universe into existence, he said, let there be light. And in an instant, in a word, in a moment, there were millions of galaxies, trillions of stars, in addition to the earth that we live on, which is perfectly balanced, it's the same life, a moon and a sun. Why is it so far-fetched to think that in a moment when we are to go to heaven to be with God, that he doesn't send armies of angels and chariots to carry us home? And I don't think it is. I mean, we do the same thing in our, as our, in our humanness when our children come home from war, when they come home from Afghanistan, when they come home from I Iraq, when they come home from Panama, Grenada, Korea, World War II, World War I, Vietnam, all these conflicts we've had in the past. And we, we bring in ticker tape parades, we have celebrations, we meet them at the airport, we're waving flags, we're weeping, we're crying. We're exciting that our children, excited that our children have come home alive from war. And we, we celebrate that moment. So I think that same moment happens in heaven with every believer that goes home. When we die on this earth, God sends in his armies of angels before the angelic conflict which exists and which is discussed in Revelation 12, which Daniel dealt with when his prayers were hindered. And so there's something going on around us we can't see. So God sends in his army. He's not going to let the devil come and get your soul. 
He's going to send in his chariots, his horsemen of Israel, a fiery chariot to bring his children home and usher them into heaven. Just like if we were picking up the president of the United States, pick him up in an entourage that protect him, make sure he gets from point A to point B safely. And I believe that's very similar to what happens to us when we die and go to heaven. I don't think it's too far-fetched to believe that. And so you think about the old song, uh, Swing Low Sweet Chariot, coming for to carry me home. I look over Jordan, and what did I see? A band of angels coming for me. What for? Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Why is it so far-fetched to believe that when we die, that Jesus Christ wouldn't do the same thing, send in a fiery chariot to pick up his daughter, to pick up his son, and to usher them safely into heaven with a parade of force and celebration and love tears of joy as we see Jesus Christ for the first time and our loved ones who went on before us. What a great moment. And I really believe that happens. I like to know some people's thoughts. 2 Kings 2 verse 12, 2 Kings 13 verse 14, the thought that a fiery chariot comes and picks up every believer and ushers us into the kingdom of heaven for a giant celebration when we get there. Well done. We are here on a battlefield, and we're one day we're going home to rest for eternity in the presence of our God. Hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.